This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Vowing to lose some LBs in 2011? Before you take on the challenge, find out the best way to battle the bulge. Tonight's guest answers your questions about losing weight. Make a New Year's resolution probably isn't going to surprise you, but the number one resolution is to lose weight and to get into better shape. And not surprisingly, when you hear this staggering fact, Americans are the fattest people on the planet. Yep, that's true. About a third of Americans are considered obese, and more than half are overweight. Now, technically speaking, dropping pounds is simple. Just cut your daily intake of calories and exercise more, but we all know it's not that easy, don't we? And that is why so many people just can't stick to their resolutions. They don't like it at all. So I want to take you over and meet somebody. This is Dr. Kai Nishi. Dr. Kai Nishi is a bariatric surgeon, and the name of your practice is? The Cleely Center for Bariatric Care. In? In Beverly Hills. In Beverly Hills. So you have so many people come to you, and we're talking New Year's resolutions, but let me just ask you, by the time they get to your practice, what have your patients tried, tried very difficult, tried very hard, and failed? Right. Well, most patients that present for weight loss surgery are really at the end of the ropes. I mean, they've gone through everything. They've dieted for years. They've tried every diet known to man. And, and this is really the last straw for them. So um, most of the time, people have tried all of the different diets, and, uh, and they're ready to take that next step. Well, but everybody doesn't need surgery, obviously, even though that's, that's your business. So what would you suggest for those people out there who do make New Year's resolutions? What does work? Well, you know, one thing that people don't want to hear is that it is true that diets do not work. There are multiple medical studies that show that diets don't work for sustained lifelong weight loss. Um, and so for our patients, whether or not they're trying to lose weight with or without surgery, the focus is on a healthy lifestyle change. We never tell our patients to actually diet. We teach them how to eat healthy foods, we teach them how to exercise, and we teach them how to modify their lifestyle so that they can live healthy, long lives, and as a byproduct, they lose weight. So you're suggesting that whatever people do in the beginning, and let's say they're not in the obese category, because right. because so many Americans are something, what, about 30-something percent of Americans yeah, absolutely. are obese. Mm -hmm. So if they're not in that category, um, what do you suggest they, how do you suggest they start out? Do they need someone to walk with? I know your patients walk with you sometimes. Absolutely, they do. And, you know, part of this whole process of a lifestyle change often requires support. Mm -hmm. And so in our practice, um, you know, there are many patients that don't need surgery, and we help them along with their, their weight loss, and we do that by supporting them. Um, okay. and educating them. And that's really the, the, the starting point. Almost like a sponsor for AAA. Exactly. Okay, exactly. We, we, we have a question from a couple of people. I want to go out to, we actually thought we had a question from a blue screen, didn't you? I want to go out to one of, uh, one of the people we talked to on the street and see what he had asked. Can you eat more if you work out more? Okay, we couldn't hear. Um, uh, maybe our producer or someone can could ask us. Can you eat more if you work out more? Can you what? Eat more if you work out can more. Can you eat more if you work out more, doctor? Ah, well, that's a very popular question. Uh, it's difficult to answer because it all depends on how much you're exercising. Uh, but it is true. As you exercise more, your nutritional requirements increase, so you can eat more and still maintain the same weight. But isn't there something in the brain, it's a, it's a hormone, that, that regulates your body weight? Right. It's, I mean, it's very comp complicated, actually, right. and there are multiple hormones that do that. Um, but it's really simple math, you know, it's the amount of calories you take in and the amount of <laughs> calories, calories you, you burn, burn off, and everyone right. has heard that. So it is true, if you exercise a lot, you can usually eat more food and still maintain your weight. All right, and finally, if people are at a point where they have tried everything, and maybe they are at the obese stage, maybe they're 30, 40, 50, more than that overweight, right. uh, what are their options in order of, of maybe drastic measure? Right. And when it comes to surgery. Right, and, and, and so referring to surgery, uh, we look at every individual and we make sure that they qualify for weight loss surgery based on a certain set of criteria, uh, based on their weight and their height. Um, and if they do, then we look at their medical history and decide if they are going to be a good candidate. Okay. And if they are, then we put them through a, a very intensive program. And it starts with education. Uh, we teach them um, how to eat healthy. We teach them the lifestyle changes they need to make because they need to understand that this doesn't work if they don't change their it's lifestyle. Not, no, it's not a silver bullet. The surgery does not work if you don't change your lifestyle. But, what are, the, but what are the surgeries of, in order of escalation? Right, so uh, the uh, lap band or the adjustable gas gastric band is very popular, that's one option. Mm -hmm. uh, the other option is the gastric bypass. Those two are the most popular operations. Uh, the third operation that is gaining popularity, popularity is the sleeve gastrectomy. 
And so those are sort the of... sleeve gastrectomy. We're almost out of time in 10 words or less. Uh, removing 85% of your stomach. Oh my gosh. Results in weight loss, as you would expect. Wow, and I thought the gastric bypass was drastic. Right. All right, Dr. Kai Nishi from Beverly Hills. Thank Jeff, you thank so you much, very much for coming in on a Sunday night and talking to us. Thank you, pleasure to be here. All right, Susan. Some of the worst flooding in Australia.